Azorgia, welcome back! Are you perchance here to see Kryle? I'm given to understand she has a task for which she desires your assistance. Then I shall fetch her at once. Pray, wait a moment. Azorgia, my thanks for coming. If, if you are now available, I'd like you and Raha to assist me in the task I had mentioned. For you to call on Zordia, I assume the task in question is somewhat more exciting than sorting through paperwork. Though I am pleased to add, I have, I have finished. So if Zordia is ready, then so am I. Our venture to the bounty has only served to whet my appetite for field work. Not to oversell things, but I suspect you won't be disappointed. Or I divulge the details, however. Permit me to provide some background. As you know, on our organization, the Students of Baldessian was, found out, was founded by my grandfather, Galoof. Our stated mission was to uncover the mysteries of Heidelin and interpret her will, particularly through the study of her gifts to us. We've since learned the whole truth, and it might be said that we've fulfilled our mission, but our work is far from over. In the course of our endeavors, we've also sought to devise countermeasures against threats that come to light. Our involvement with the Warring Triad is as an example of such. "'Tis my belief that, in continuing to seek out the unknown and dealing with the threats, we best carry on the student's mission." I'm, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. "'We best honor those we lost when the Isle of Val was destroyed. Forgive me, I didn't mean to darken the mood. In saying all of this, I simply wanted to clarify our, our organization's purpose for a new age. In line with said purpose, I've been reviewing new requests, and one in particular jumped out at me. It comes from none other than Rambros, of the Sons of St. Koinak. Truly, has something happened in Mordona, then? So it would seem, and he wishes to entrust the matter to us. While his missive is sparse on details, he writes that it lies beyond the Sun's expertise. Uncharted territory are the exact words he used. I'd like you to meet with Rambros and conduct a preliminary survey. What say you? Yes, let's do it. We're going. Wonderful! When you are ready, pray make your way to Revenant's Toll, and I shall let Rambros know to receive you there. I must remain here to oversee our operations, but should it transpire that more hands are needed, don't hesitate to send word. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Well, there's no time like the present. If you could go on ahead to Revenant's Toll, I shall make ready and then be on my way. There you are, Zordia. It would seem we're early. My apologies for the wait. Hey, Rambros. Rambros, what a pleasure to see you again. How have you been? The pleasure is all mine, my friend. I've been well, and gladdens me to see that you are too. Now, I know you have many demands upon your time, so I shall explain the particulars of our request at once. Recently, an explorer came to us who claimed to have discovered the Phantom Realm. What? Phantom Realm? The Phantom Realm? So this is what you meant by uncharted territory. You're not familiar? Perhaps unsurprising, given that it is a lesser-known legend. This legend holds that across Eorzea there exists a realm that appears as a mirage. Though visible from a distance, it fades away as one draws near. Sort of, oh, like a mirage, basically. While it has featured in myths since ancient times, the realm's existence could not be proven, and thus it is, se it is seldom mentioned in literature. In spite of this, fueled by rumors of the occasional sighting, the myth has persisted and continues to capture the hearts and minds of explorers. That you yourself should reach out to us. Is it real, then? When first the explorer in question approached us, we doubted them. But we couldn't doubt the evidence of our senses. Nay, the realm is real, as you will soon see for yourself. Good gods! A part of me still struggles to believe it. We have no reason to doubt you. Suffice it to say, we are eager to see the realm, too. True. Nodders. Whatever truth awaits, I pray you will succeed in finding it. Seek out the explorer, one Derek. He has seen more of the realm than us, and should be willing to serve as your guide. I asked him to accompany me here, but he pref preferred to continue exploring on his own. He will be somewhere near the banks of Silvertier Lake, I s expect. Understood. Our thanks, Rambros. Come, let us split up and look for our explorer. Gotta find the explorer. You see a small Opo Opo. It couldn't possibly be the explorer, could it? Lamau, what? The explorer? Or we're sus of the Opo Opo? Just in case you were entertaining the thoughts, Zordia, the Opo Opo isn't our explorer. I have the man in question here with me. <laughs> Why? I mean, that's true, Frizz. Fair. I am Derek, the one who discovered the Phantom Realm. My apologies for making you search for me. Oh, I like your little thing in your hair. The little the leaves. Curious about this creature, are you? 
I found him injured during one of my journeys and tended to him. Since then, he has taken to following me around. He's inquisitive but otherwise harmless, so pray pay him no mind. You're the hero who delivered our star from doom, are you not? What good fortune that one as capable as you should lend her aid. I'll do my best. To be clear, our organization is yet to accept the commission. Before we can make a decision, we, we would conduct a preliminary survey. Will you guide us to the Phantom Realm? Yes. Of course! I will show you to the entrance at once. The gate to the realm long dreamed of by explorers. Okay, okay. Oh, what are you? Oh, look! It's what, um, Rian J wanted to do. Impressive, isn't it? When the gate manifested, so too did this magic, allowing one to thus walk upon water. This is just like Rian J's spell! That's what I said. Someone conceived the means to do this at will. An intriguing individual. It's perfectly safe, I assure you. Come. Oh my gosh, the Oppo Oppo is so cute! I freaking love it. Oh! Into the unknown! We were unmade. We were... Bruh. By the Twelve, you truly can walk here. What magic is this? By what means is it perpetuated? F forgive me, let us continue on. <laughs> God, just excited about everything. Oh, this is the part in the trailer. Uh... <laughs> Yo! This is not what I was expecting for Phantom Realm. This is the Phantom Realm. I was expecting, like, way more, um, dark. Like, for some reason I was thinking the Void, like, like the 13th, kind of like that. I was expecting that. Omphalos. Omphalos. Like, Olympus? Oh, you- and then you have the Roman numerals! The twelve. Or- or a clock. This music! To think the entrance would lie over Silver Tear Lake! Yeah, now we have two alliance raids in the same area-ish. There's nothing out of the ordinary with the environment. The sights, the sounds, the smells all appear as they should be in nature. That is to say, this place is no illusion. These structures look familiar. This looks like El- oh, mm? I was gonna say Elpis, but no. I've seen those- the spirals before. That might have been Final Fantasy XIII Lightning Returns, though. I bid you welcome to the navel of the Phantom Realm, the Omphalos. Well, is it what you were expecting? No, it was not at all. Where are you, Graha? Oh, he's so cute! The Omphalos, you say this place is called? A name by my own conception, I confess. I felt we needed something to call it by, lest you wonder the word means navel in an ancient tongue. An allusion to Mordona's location in the heart of Aldenard. Oh, is, can we attune to that? As you can see, there are man-made structures and the place appears well kept, and there isn't a single soul in evidence. Weird. Tis my hope that you will help me shed light upon this realm to learn who created it and to what end. I should also like to know why it has revealed itself now. Was it simply chance? that kept it hidden, or something more. In any case, let us begin by taking a look around. So a monument has been erected, but whose hand, you cannot say, but the motifs wrought into its base appear familiar. Yep, it's the Twelve. The Opo Opo seems quite at home, wouldn't you say? How many times has Derek come here, I wonder? A number of structures such as this can be seen in the area. What purpose could they possibly serve? The architecture is unlike anything seen in Eorzea. Truly exqui exquisite stuff. A vantage point. Yo, you can see the crystal tower over there. So this isn't like a different realm. This is literally in the sky. In the distance, you see what appears to be the crystal tower. Though the clouds make it difficult to be sure. It would seem that you are in the sky above Silver, Silver Tear Lake. No such isle could be seen from outside, however. Yeah, because there's airships and such. Finished looking around, have you? What are your impressions? We have had only a cursory glance, but this is truly a mysterious place. 
The gleaming spire rising beyond the clouds, that is most certainly the Crystal Tower. And judging by its aspect, we are a considerable distance above Silver Tear Lake, which would suggest the gate we entered is a teleporter. However, if this... this isle lies where it appears to lie, then it couldn't have escaped the Battle of Silver Tear Skies unscathed. Which is to say that we are in Mordona, and yet we are not. It is as if we were displaced from our world, if only slightly. Displaced is an apt way to put it. Was there aught else you, you noticed? Aye, the, motif, the motifs upon yonder structure are mistakably the marks of the Twelve. This is so cool. This is so cool. By which I posit that this was created to be a place of worship. But by whom? I cannot think of anyone, any who could have possibly built such grand premises. Never mind magically conceal it. At least not in the wake of the Battle of Silver Tear Skies. Aye, this is a mysterious place indeed. Well, it seems there is but one solution for our ignorance. A thorough investigation. For this, we will require more manpower and supplies, among other things. With your permission, we will cough confer with our representative, Kryle, and make the necessary arrangements for a formal investigation. If that is what must be done to commence your work in earnest, then by all means. Without further ado, then let us, let us return to Charlian. Charlian. Hold, mortals! Uh, um... Oh, oh. Oh, shoot, what? Lightning and fire? Is this lightning and fire? Um. 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 You profane this sacred realm with your very presence and must answer for your irreverence. Oh. Oh. Thick boys. Thick, thick, thick boys. Oh, that beard, though. That beard, though. The men be meaty. I am Birgot the Builder. Birgot? Birgot. Birgot? Then the twelve are real! This is what Emmet was saying! Let there be no doubt, we are not simulacra, born of immortal faith. Nay, we twelve are divinities true. And in Heidelin's absence, we are the star's rightful rulers. It's will. Oh, shoot, what? Closely have we watched mankind. And we have determined that you, champion of Hydaelyn, pose a threat to our ascension. Uh, me? I saved your world. You were foolish to wander into our realm. We could destroy you with ease here and now, but as divinities, we must demonstrate grace and forbearance. I'm just the healer. There is but one path. We must weigh this mortal's worth. Oh. Here, here, let there be a trial. Hmm. While the mortal world would invariably be destroyed, it would at least provide us with a diversion. What? You suddenly appear and expect us to simply comply with your whims. Protest if you wish, but mortal logic means not to gods. We'll abide by our laws. Lo, the gateway to our sanctum lies open. We got no choice. Show us the strength of mankind. Show us the honor of mankind. Show us the spirit of mankind. If man would remain the master of his own destiny, then assemble your comrades and come. Come and prove your worthiness. Oh, is this it? Seven hells during my previous forays. Nothing like this has ever happened. I encountered not a single soul, and certainly not gods. Well, you're not. You're now with me. And by their own admission, they mean to take over the star. What are we to do? The situation has indeed taken an unexpected turn. We must try to think clearly. Music. The twelve have long been revered and worshipped in Eorzea. The myths about them abound. But to my knowledge, they have never thus appeared so openly before to people. For these beings to suddenly reveal themselves, just when we're here, claim supremacy over the star and challenge Zordia to a trial. Too much about this feels odd, and it gives me pause. True. Fair enough, yet as it stands, it seems we cannot can't dismiss the threat either. I feel like Derek is gonna be 
something. Whatever they are, if they are issuing, issuing challenge, then challenge accepted. Gaius von Belsar once said that the 12-2 were simply primals. I mean, Gaius has been wrong before. This is turning out to be another strange affair. Actually, I want to see what the what they say to this. <clears throat> Tis true that even Heidelin and Zodiac were primals, and we cannot discount the possibility. But we know too little to draw conclusions. In any event, if these beings seek dominion over the star as they are, as they say, what happens here may have far-reaching implications. To that end, I believe we should take action. Suffice it to say, you are with you are with me. Yes. To the end, Graha. Anywhere you go, I go. Then the Studians of Baldessian will officially tend to the situation. Aye, in the course of studying the star's mysteries, we have undertaken to deal with any threats that may arise. This is no different. I thought we were going back to the annex. Right, let's deliberate a course of action. Derek, know you aught of these beings' sanctums? Aye, they are domains in the phantom realm that lie beyond each gate. I've explored them all. He's done this already? He's sus. He's so, so how did he open them? Perhaps due to the etheric instability, there are times when one can enter when ordinarily one cannot. But would seem the way has been opened for us. While I encountered no gods during my previous forays, I saw enough to know my way around. But I am a humble explorer and cannot contend with gods. But if you would be willing to protect me, I will serve as your guide. Graha Dragon lies again. Assemble your comrades, but Byrgot bade us. As strong as I know you are, we know little and less about our foes. foes. Neither their strength nor their true nature. It would be decidedly reckless to face them by ourselves. Nay, we must choose an approach that affords us the best chance at victory. To that end, this time I shall work behind the scenes. While you set forth to answer the gods' challenge, I will do what I can in my capacity as a student. For one, it would behoove us to arm ourselves with knowledge about the Twelve, and I shall begin by apprising Kryle of the situation. By thus utilizing our resources to the fullest, we shall overcome whatever trial awaits us. Let's go. Okay. Graha, run into Charlian. Graha, you could literally just teleport from here. You could have just tele- you didn't need to run, you could have teleported. Unless you can't teleport in here, which I doubt. Agla- Aglaya? <laughs> oh, my terribly long load screens. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, man, this is going to be exciting. I'm deafening everyone. <laughs> Yo! This music. Aglala, Laya, Agli. Oh, yo, Ralger, Ralger. <laughs> I don't even know what they look like. Helios, Maybe just you, you should pass on the chest pieces for uh, people, just because you never wear one. I love them. What do you mean? <laughs> Yeah, the other one I used yesterday, I will definitely need on that chest piece of a drop. Helios, you, you might as well just pass on the weapon because. I, I, the I, I, mechanical spire ahead could have been plucked straight out of legend. On the you might as well pass on it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be shiny. <laughs> so you're resolved to face me. Yo! Oh my god. Who is that? Who's yelling? Wow, Look at that hammer. Look at that sweet, big. sweet hammer. Oh. Thick boy, thick boy. And his hammer's covering his private. Oh. Alright. Look at those There's spikes! Around the arena. So much Look at those spikes! Yeah. So many Bahamas. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, okay. It's so loud. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, get well, out of the way. Don't get in front of it. Oh, gotcha. Oh, oh I love that. that. That's totally enough. I'm trying to remember how to do okay. this. <laughs> okay. I just got starstruck, you know? Okay, this is, this is a problem because, um, 
Discord is kind of covering my um, my party. <laughs> it's bad. This bad. Discord kind of covering party. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, 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 shoot! Oh, 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 oh death! Oh, oh, Sorry! <laughs> okay, okay. Love that. Oh, oh, okay, we're, we're cool. Oh, 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 oh. I'm like not able to pay attention at all. Okay, I see. Okay, probably not over there. Because hammers. Oh. oh, shoot, that's so cool. That's so cool. That's so cool. Oh, wait. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, shish! Oh, shishi wakamaru! Moro! <laughs> Wait! So mechanics can get it shot to the side. Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh, no, no, no! Wait, wait, wait! Oh, wait! Oh, wait! Oh, wait! Oh, wait! We have to be... Oh, no! Oh, no! Wait, wait! Shoot, shoot, shoot! Oh, no! Wait! Oh, my gosh! Oh what the hell? Oh what? Oh over here! Over here! Over here! Uh, I'm ass I'm assuming we stay over here. I don't I don't know. Okay okay okay. One is slower. One is slower. I still got hit. Damn it! What the hell is this? What? Oh oh god oh god oh oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god. I'm staying I'm 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 staying over here. I'm, I'm right, I'm staying here. You need to be stacked directly south of the boss's hitbox right now, and that should be safe. Daisu! Okay, 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 okay. I don't trust, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't trust. I don't trust! And then, oh jeez. Oh jeez. Uh, uh. Uh, 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 I don't, I don't know where to, I don't know where to go, I don't get it! Ah! 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 Shishi Wakamaru, bro! I feel overwhelmed. <laughs> I feel super whelmed. There we go. This way. There we go. Okay, get. It. I get it. I get it. I get it. I've got the best view. Don't be on a tile that's getting knocked out of distance, like Helios right now. Oh no! <laughs> Dude, this fight is amazing. We almost got this. Oh, oh, like what was that called? Catch the cast I, I, name. I just saw the tell. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Okay, so how that tell works for the, the um, phones is that first boss. Four, I know. Well, uh, four different corners will have like shooting star, uh, around fire god. After he jumps, it'll shoot up the lightning. Those how do yeah. these look? Ooh, those figure. are kind of cool. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a pass though. So the tells. Yeah, it's, it's tells on his body duplicate onto there. He jumps to. Yo, Eden Sky, how you doing? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm not paying attention. Oh my god! Uh, that's what I get for not paying attention. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. 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 Uh, with what? What side? What? What's? What? Oh shoot! Okay. I should be okay here. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, Shishi Wakamaru! Oh, sh oh, sh oh, sh oh, boy! Oh, 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 boy! <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! I feel so overwhelmed. I feel so whelmed. I feel so freaking whelmed right now. This is the first time Zora has done current content. Yes. Yes, I, this is my first time doing stuff like this. 
So the gods have minions at their beck and call. We must proceed with care. Ralgar isn't known as the god of destruction without reason. Seal yourself. Is Graha running with us? Or is it just Eric? Oh? Seems Ralgar awaits us. Yo! Yo, Ralgar looking dope though! I ha I'm also in the Discord, so. This is what happens when Dozer ruined the second and Did Dozer fall? Did he like the fingers all have walked back on them? This is cool! Wait! We're on the fingers! What the heck? Yo, Ralgar! Dude, look at him! Look at this- look at this beefy boy! Lightning rain. What is- what is that? What is that? Hand of the Destroyer. Uh, 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 okay. Cool. Oh, shoot, what the hell? I guess Hand of the Destroyer is red. Okay, got it. Got it, Hand of the Destroyer is red. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, what's this? What is this? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What is this? I'm gonna stay right here. I don't trust this. Ah! Oh, no! Wait, I can't- I can't rest them? Okay, there we go. From Glare 3? Glare 3 is probably over there. Okay, so this side. This side. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, 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 alright. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh boy, stay away from the tank busters, holy crap! What that? What that? What did that? What'd that do? Broken world. Oh. Oh? Uh. Oh, what the heck? What the, what the, what the? Oh jeez. Is this another debate? This is another debate. This is a Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, that did. Uh, I went the wrong side. Wow. Well, uh, this is not the on the fingers. Follow the arrow. Follow the arrow. See if I can. Is this a debate? Is this a debate? The meteor, because he's pumping the meteor away from Red and it's towards the fingers. Oh! 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 Okay. That is cool. The LBs if they're ever available. This is like third out of the first ones that showed up, and then move into them when they go off. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. If you get me, I can get into There is a lot of things to get up. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Getting knocked back towards the pointer finger, pointer finger. Oh jeez, 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 oh jeez. Ah, I made it! I'm alive! Oh, 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 oh. Uh, it's fine. Oh boy. Now you know over over you stimulation right now. Thank Buster. Oh, this is definitely why I came on Red Wing. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh. Got me. Broken world. Uh, ring. 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 Ring.
Children of man. Ooh. That mortals should set foot in our divine realm. Come, we shall see whether you are fit. Yo, look at this! Look at this! This is beautiful! Double immolation. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, okay. Uh, what does this- what does this mean? What- What- what does this mean? I still got hit, bro. <gasps> oh, oh shoot, 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 shoot! Oh shoot. Okay, I get it, I get it. It's had the- it had the one, two. Just higher. Your minions are no match in this for you, Twig Team. Can you go into another instance and roll yeah. on yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah. Divinity yeah. awaits us beyond. Have That's care. So good. Oh, yes. hell yeah. Ooh, she, she looks so. Terrible. Yo! Yo, she's hot. Yo, guys. Yo! Right. I totally give her some night. You don't though. get locked out of loot until you wear roll. We'll give her some night though. But she, oh, this is this is my goddess. Okay. Go. Oh, well. Well then, let's let's go. Much better than Vita, she has arms. Oh, I like her voice. Her voice sounds familiar. Solar wings. Okay. Oh, oh, what, what is that? What, what do? What do? Oh, oh. Fudge! I need to not keep dying, guys. I need to not keep dying. Oh, what the hell is that? What? Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. All right, all right. An explosive finish. What that fish do? Oh, Shishi Wakamaru. What the hell? Um. What? 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 I scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, fudge! Why is there a phoenix? Oh! Should we be outside of that, or should we be inside of that? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah! Ah! It's triangle.
Oh jeez. Oh 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 no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh oh. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh no. This I don't quite understand. Ah, shish, shishi wakamaru, bro. Dude, dude. What is this? I confused. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, solar rings. I'm just following everyone for that one. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh. Ooh. Can I need that? Oh, that's so pretty. What the hell? Was I not supposed to? I didn't I didn't check if I was if I could need that. <laughs> I want glam. Well. I do want glam. Ooh, this guy looks badass. <laughs> Nald. Yo! Oh, one piece per week? Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't- I haven't rolled on anything yet. I- <coughs> I only rolled on the chest piece. This music, though. This music, what? Now? 
<gasps> Yo, look at me! Yo, the dress is so pretty! The dress is so pretty! It's so pretty! Wait, 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 where do we where do we stand? Do we stand in the blue or do we stand in the red? Heat above or flames below? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I did, definitely didn't stand in the right place. My bad. I'm so overwhelmed. I'm whelmed. I'm so whelmed. I'm so freaking whelmed. Oh, oh no. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh. Can we help you? Uh, from... oh. 
Oh, I got, I, how did I die? Calls more often when doing Sorry, savage, probably. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Been found worthy. I did cards. I used cards. I also kept dying a lot, but I did use cards. Graha, you're safe. Thank goodness. I rushed here as soon as I heard the tidings from Raha. Is this true? Beings claiming to be the Twelve have appeared. The dress is so pr Look at the dress! The dress is so freaking pretty! You defeated them all! Incredible! I had no doubt that you would succeed, but I am no less impressed for it. Gahahaha! <laughs> Seldom have I felt such exhilaration! Were they just testing our strength? Well... Yo! Thick boy. To think that the day would come that we would put an put on an act for men. I must say, by gosh, you played the villain role to perfection. Come now, master, I merely did what was necessary to compel the mortals to confront us. <sighs> Still, it pained me to speak to our beloved children so unkindly. Yo, she pretty AF. Look at her. She's so, she's so hot. The fudge. So you say, Ezema. Yet you seem happy enough to fight them. You did not forget the true purpose of the trial, I hope. Consider yourselves fortunate children. Tis rare indeed to see Nal Thal in such high spirits. What in the world is happening? Didn't you say you defeated them? Did they manage to flee? Or perhaps were resummoned? They're not primals, are they? Put up your weapons. You have naught to fear from us. Look at them legs, though. The thick boy. Thick. But what of the gods who were summoned during the calamity? The ones Master Louis Swa called for to protect the realm. That was not us, but a primal born of your fervent prayers for salvation. Indeed, that the worst of the calamity was averted and the realm restored in its aftermath was a direct testament to the power of your hopes. If you aren't primal, primals, then what are you? Do you truly intend to rule the world? Why choose to appear before us now? Just as men harbor hopes, so too do we gods. To realize our aspirations, tis essential that we do battle with you. Thus did I falsely claim that we sought to rule the world. To us deceitful conduct unworthy of a divinity, and I must apologize. Not only for that, but for using my power to do harm besides. These hopes of yours, won't you tell us what they are? We cannot. If you wish to know the truth, you must discover it for yourselves. Tis not easy to move forward when there is seemingly no destination. But if you press on, you will eventually arrive at the answers you seek. Aye. 
You will understand why we hold our peace and far more besides. You will learn the very truth of our existence. Oh? Go forth, mortals, and seek knowledge of us. And when the time is right, we shall meet again in this place. This is so fascinating. I'm curious as to where this goes from here. When I first explored the Phantom Realm, it appeared to be unoccupied. To think that it was home to the gods. We have met and exchanged words with the Twelve. When I pause to think, I can scarce believe it. Oh, I, I bet it, the Ashtala and everyone else is going to be so jealous. As if hearing about your battle with battling the Twelve weren't shocking enough. To have them appear before my very eyes. Suffice it to say, it's been an interesting day. While much about them remains shrouded in mystery, at least they seem open to reason. In considering our next step, I should very much like to hear your detailed account from them. Right after I have a word with our client, that is. Please give me a moment to introduce myself, and then we can review the situation. Greetings, I am Kryl of the students of Baldessian. Do I have the pleasure of addressing Derek? The explorer who sought aid in investigating this place? I I swear the Opo Opo is is gonna play a bigger role. I feel it. I I'm Derek, and this here is a baby Opo Opo. <laughs> the fact that he, he yo Yes, I can see that. Does it doesn't it have a name? None that I know of, nor would I presume to bestow one, for that would be condescending. So I understand you explored the various fandom realms with Derek. Will you recount to me the experience? So, while the gods tested you sorely, you did not sense any malicious intent. As Byrgot said, they wished to do battle with us, but would seem they do not necessarily wish to cause us harm. Though much and more about this perplexes, mayhap, Tis safe to assume they are not they are not primals. As you may recall, Living Way once told us that the art of summoning, as taught by the Asians, incorporates a fervent desire to assimilate others into one's belief. Thus do the res resultant primals seek to enthrall worshippers, who in turn seek to grow their ranks. But these beings appear to harbor no such desire. If they are primals, then they are unlike those that have been summoned in recent memory. You might suppose that they were created in an antiquity, in like manner to Hydaelyn, but there is no way to prove it. Yeah, and why didn't the ancients know about them? Who could they possibly be, and why do they desire battle with man? To prove their worth, maybe? Even of your little Eorzea. You know precious little. The true identities of the Twelve, for instance. True identities. The plot thickens. That's what Emmett said. So Emmett knew. Emmett Selk did say that, didn't he? By which we may assume he knew the truth, and challenged you to seek it out too. Suffice it to say, you'll do so, of course. In so far as we can ascertain, this is a matter which has implications for the entire star. In light of this, the students of, Val of Valdesian formally accept the commission. We will investigate the Phantom Realm, Phantom Realm and the beings who call themselves the Twelve. I'm pleased to hear it. Thank you. Without further ado, then, I will take a look around. There are a few things I'm curious about. Then, with your permission, I will take myself around Eorzea and investigate the worship of those gods we, we encountered. Zordia Derek, seeing as you've already seen this place, would you care to accompany me? Yes. I come with. By all means, in which case... Could you stay here with Kryle, my friend? It wouldn't do to ha leave a fair maiden alone. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I shall be glad for the company. Take care then, and good luck. Shall we ask Gratia about his pa plan? Pan? <laughs> we'll ask Gratia about his pan. Raha has also shared his observations with me. Keeping your combined accounts in mind, I shall see what else I can learn here. So to explain my plan, Tis believed that the Twelve were already worshipped during the Third Astral Era, when the Elegan Empire flourished. Come the Fifth Astral Era, those nations that fought in, in the War of the Magi each took one of the Twelve as a guardian deity. This practice has continued to the present day in Eorzea, 
with some notable regional differences. For instance, Ishgardians hold Halone as absolute, while Charleans enjoy a, a moderate re relationship with Thaliac. By visiting various locations in Eorzea and learning about the Twelve as they are worshipped, I hope to identify any similarities or differences between them and the beings we encountered. In doing so, I believe we will draw closer to the truth of their identities. For our first destination, I propose we take ourselves to Ralgar's Reach. I had a feeling. The place is a holy ground for worshippers of the Destroyer and promises to yield useful details. There you are, Zordia. This place served as the base of operations for your investigation into Omega, did it not? How delightful to be here together! If you don't mind my making an observation, it seems you enjoy traveling with company. I do! It's something I had dreamed of for a long time. Aww! There's nothing like traveling with good friends. I enjoy com- I enjoy company, but sometimes prefer my own. Nope. I enjoy traveling with good friends. Is that so? What of yourself? Do you normally travel alone? Aye, in my wanderings, I much prefer to have solitude. Not that I avoid people or communities, mind you. As a matter of fact, I've been here before, on the trail of the Phantom Realm. One bound. I'm sorry about your keyblade, though, Kira. Hmm, now that I think on it... More often than not, those places where Phantom Realm sightings are known to occur have a tradition of Twelve worship. Then I dare to hope that we are on the right track. As I'm sure you know, Ralgor's Reach is home to the Temple of the, of the Fist, an ancient headquarters of the Fist of Ralgar. Raised by the Mad King Theodoric, the temple lay abandoned before the Alamegan resistance claimed it for its operations. While I doubt that much literature has survived over the years, the people here may possess some knowledge of the local faith. So let us split up and make inquiries, and reconvene here afterwards to share findings. You read the words inscribed on the monument. A storm of blood approaches fast, hells open, heavens weep. For no one for no one soul doth lie beyond the measure of his reach. Once upon a time, Lise explained to you their meaning, that we must prepare ourselves for the strife and sorrow that will inevitably come. Oh, if it isn't if it isn't Zordia, is this man perchance a friend of yours? When last he visited, he shared with me the tales he heard on his journeys, and what amazing tales they were! If you have the time, I'd love to, he to hear both of your stories. Alas, we are in some haste. We're investigating the worship of Ralgar and seek literature on the subject, religious texts and the like. Can any still be found here? Just about all of it is gone, sadly. Destroyed by the Empire, if not the Mad King before that. But we haven't lost everything. The mighty image of the Destroyer, the tales we share at the campfire, like the legend of our nation's founding. We still have these things, and... They were a source of great comfort and strength to us in our darkest moments. I see. If you don't mind, I would be obliged to hear your stories this time. Zordia, rest assured, I have this well in hand. Feel free to carry on as you were. Yes? If you have business, please make it quick. I'm due to meet with someone any moment now. Forgive me my delay. Why, if it isn't the, the adventurer who kindly exco escorted, escorted me to the Temple of the Fist? Are you studying monks too, perchance? If so, you ought to work together with me and my colleague here. Few things are finer than knowing heads with like-minded folk. It's been a while since I saw her. She's researching the worship of the Destroyer, you say? Why didn't you mention it sooner? This is a copy of Des Destructivity, a scripture of the Fist of Ralgar. Their origin is one of the few texts that survived the temple's raising and is in the safekeeping of one Professor Eric. I went to the trouble of having this made for my colleague, only for her to say she doesn't need it, so I'll offer it to you instead. <sighs> Lest you forget, this is your passion, not mine. I'm simply assisting you as a favor, and I thank you not to put us in danger. Ah, oh, but danger is the crucible in which the monk tempers body and mind. Ah, <sighs> so sublime, monks. Well, we had best return to our work. Till next time, adventurer. Zordia, we're, what were you able to learn? We got a book. We got a, a cool book. Look at it. It's a green book. A copy of one of the scriptures, you say? A moment while I skim it over. Ten hours later. I see. This chapter appears to be a record of the con construct of the great image of Ralgur, written in a style that suggests folklore was committed to parchment. When the deluge of the sixth, um, sixth Umbral Calamity threatened Eorzea, the ancestors of the Alamegans were guided to safety by a comet. Oh. 
Believing that it was sent by Ralgar, they came to hold him in the highest, this much of the tale I had been familiar with. But according to the scripture, among those refugees who followed the comet, some claimed to have caught sight of Ralgar himself. Their accounts were passed down through the centuries, and worshippers of the Destroyer pieced them together to give shape to yonder statue. I must say, it bears more than a passing resemblance to the being we encountered. Were that Ralgar a primal, the explanation for the similarities would be simple. That is, the statue gives rise to a unified interpretation of Ralgar's appearance, which in turn lends form to the primal. However, this fails to account for what inspired the likeness in the first place. If the scripture is to be believed, it was the sightings during the Sixth Umbral Calamity. Yet for those witnesses to be able to recognize Ralgar, they would have needed an agreed-upon idea of his appearance beforehand. If we then consider the history of, of Twelve Worship, that is, that it already existed in the Third Astral Era, it would not be ridiculous to think that these divinities existed even prior to that. So the question is, did these beings give rise to their respective faiths, or are they primals born of them? I thought we had made it clear we are not summoned beings. Oh? 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 Oh! Oh, so the Opo Opo is definitely a god. Since time immemorial, our domains have lain scattered across Eorzea. As a matter of fact, one of those in which you set foot is nearby. It is not unusual for mortals to glimpse us. That voice! Could they be... Indeed, I am Byrgot, and the hawk beside me is Ralgar. I shall elaborate on my master's explanation. S the Spriggan has gotten a lot of airtime in Endwalker. A lot of airtime. We thus disguise ourselves when we wish to observe the world without, for being seen in our true forms would violate our laws of conduct. Yet, though we similarly disguise our sanctums, veiling them is in illusion, rents are known to manifest when the surrounding aether is unstable. In such a time, should a, gift, a gifted mortal chance to be near, they may inadvertently catch sight of us. Of course, during an umbral calamity, etheric imbalance occurs on a star-wide scale, ideal conditions for seeing the Phantom Realm. Precisely how many times we have been seen, we ourselves have no way of knowing, but I. That is a sound assumption to make. Well, Biogot, I believe that much shall suffice by way of an apology for our deception, shall we? Indeed! That is all we are at liberty to reveal. Fare you well, children of man. Best alliance raid already. Aside from the reticence, where it concerns their identity and objective, these divinities are certainly approachable. If what they say is true, and their worship can be traced back to their sightings, it would serve to explain one thing. According to my research, in the field of comparative mythology, Ralgar is often observed to bear many similarities with Ramu. So is Ramu based on Ralgar? Assuming both were inspired by Ralgar of the Phantom Realm, their divergence may be, attributed, may be attributable to differences in culture between man and sylph. Oh shoot! So you believe they gave rise to the prevailing fates of Eorzea? Yes. I agree. Given available evidence, yes, I am inclined to. Yet none of this explains their presence. How and when did they did beings of such power come into existence? Oh, tis you, Kryle. Did, has something happened? Truly. Very well, I shall take care of it. Kryle has recruited an acquaintance to our to aid in our investigation, an authority on mythology. I must go and receive her at the Sungen Temple of Karn, where she is currently conducting fieldwork. After a brief detour to prepare a little something. Conveniently, Thanalan is home to countless ad adherents of Nalthal. While I tend to business, may I ask the two of you to make inquiries in Uldar? Very well. Excellent! I will join you as soon as I am able, by your leave. So it's to be just you and me in Uldar. I suppose it can't be helped. What strange manners for the one who proposed the survey to, prompt, to so promptly abandon it. I'll not lie, I'm not given to working one-on-one -on -one with another, but I suppose I agreed to this arrangement. Oh, well, we had best be on our way. As I recall, Mil Milvaneth's sac Saquarium is still closed for construction, so let us try our luck at Arzaneth Ossuary. 
You have no objection to traveling separately, I trust. Good. I shall see you in Ulda. Of the Daphic twins, Nal Thal. Here they worship Thal. Who keeps the realm of the dead and weighs the worth of men's souls. In contrast, Nald keeps the world of the living and oversees their financial fortunes. Their names are borne by many a location and religious organizations, some extremely wealthy and powerful, exist to nurture faith in them. On the surface, it may seem strange that a hub of commerce such as Old Da could be home to such spiritual people, but it's actually quite logical when one considers that their religion is, in essence, commerce. True. In any event, Nald Thal is a truly unusual divinity. What was or originally held to be one god came to be worshipped as twins. Indeed, rather than two distinct entities, that which we encountered was a single being possessed of two personalities. Oh! Oh! Uh-oh! Did I mishear? Did he say they encountered Nald Thal? Oh boy. And while his appearance differs somewhat to the divinities worshipped, it cannot be denied that there are striking similarities in their nature. Derek, Derek. We're starting to attract attention. Perhaps we should avoid talking about that here. Or maybe I should have l let him keep talking. F forgive me. This is hardly the place for such a conversation. Let, let us continue it elsewhere. "'Twas careless of me to openly speak of our encounter with a divinity within a place where he is worshipped. Hereon I shall exercise great, greater caution. I thank you for alerting me to my indiscretion, and ask that you keep it between us. I'm going to tell everyone that you, that you did that. Now then, to finish our conversation, as I mentioned, though the Nalthal, as worshipped by men, appears somewhat different, there are undeniable similarities in their nature. I believe we may report this much to Grahatia. With that, our work here is done. Rather than, rather than waiting for our companion to arrive, perhaps we might seek him out at the sunken temple. He mentioned needing to make a detour. Were we to set out now, we ought to be able to catch up to him. After all, we hardly know one another. Rather than loiter with an unfamiliar person, it is better to use our time productively, wouldn't you agree? Then let us head to the sunken temple of Karn at once. Are you alright? If you hear me, please say something. Ugh... You're here, thank goodness I found this woman collapsed. Though I can see no ob obvious injuries by her attire, she appears to be some manner of scholar. Food, water, food, in my bag, please. I see, Zordia, may I trouble you to find her bag? I will stand look out in the meantime. Examining the bag, you find a skin with a little water left, but there appears to be no provender. For now, you decide to take the water to the woman. I have not saved dried meat tough as leather. Do you have anything easier to consume? Graha! Zordia, Derek, what are you doing here? Actually, that can wait. Steady, snow game. I've brought you Archon loaf and coffee, made sweet and creamy just like you like it. Just as you like it. What were those sound effects? Ah, oh, I am reborn! Washed down with a sweet beverage, the life-giving nutrients of Archon loaf pre permeate my being from head to toe. Thank you, kind stranger. However, you knew my preferred source of sustenance. You are truly a godsend. Oh, it's you, Raha. What brings you here? I don't recall mentioning my field work. It's for my research into the Belad Beladians' worship of Az Azima, you see. Haven't you heard from Kryle? The students are presently investigating the Twelve and would prevail upon your expertise. May I introduce Snow Game? Expert mythologist. She is a collaborator of the students, and like many a Charlian scholar, is passionate about her endeavors to point to the point of forgetting to eat. Fair. Makes sense. Seeing as she has recovered, may I ask the two of you to tell her about the Phantom Realm? The twelve abide in the Phantom Realm, and you exchange not only words with them, but blows besides? Incredible! And your description of the domains, a thunderous tower in one, and a sweltering city in another, are precisely as heavens of lightning and fire are depicted in legend. In ancient times, worshippers of the Twelve believed that there exist seven heavens and seven hells. Oh, this is cool lore. Aetherology has since established that departed souls return to the ethereal sea. 
but it seems those afterlife domains were more than just in inventions of the mortal imagination. As a pursuer of myths, I must say, it feels somewhat anticlimactic to suddenly have these revelations given to me. But more than that, I'm dying to know more. Which is to say, please allow me to join your investigation. <laughs> Graal's like, well, I knew this would happen. Ahem, we would, of course. Welcome your presence, without further ado. Then let us head to Omphalos. Quarrel awaits us there. Welcome back, everyone. And welcome, Snowgeam. I'm glad you could join us. Kyrile, how delightful to see you again. I understand you've been doing a fine job leading the students. But may I say what a lovely place this is. At a glance, this appears to be the highest of the heavens of legend. The seventh heaven. And oh, if those aren't symbols representing the other heavens, I take it those are their respective gateways. I should like to pay them all a visit. For Snow Snowegame's benefit, let us review what we have learned thus far and thence deliberate the next step. The gods reappeared before us in Ralgar's reach, though they were disguised as unassuming creatures. Their laws forbid them from showing their true forms outside their realm. Yet in the event the ambient ether becomes unstable, such as during an um umbral calamity, it is possible for the realm, and indeed the gods themselves, to be glimpsed by mortals. And such sightings, we believe, have given rise to the various faiths practiced throughout Eorzea. As we confirmed in Ulda, the, the Nalthal worshipped by people, and the Nalthal we encountered, here have more similarities than they do differences. In the course of exploring Amphalos, two things caught my attention. Oh, what? The first is the gate, which lies in the innermost area. If each of the other six gates leads to an elementally aspected haven, heaven, and we stand in the seventh heaven, as Snowkeem says... Where does that lead? What then lies beyond the last gate? The second is this monument. It harbors some manner of magic unlike anything I've seen before. I will endeavor to decipher it, but it will take time. Yeah, this kind of looks like an Aetherite. Divinities that have existed since time immemorial, who abide in domains resembling the heavens of legend. Why have they chosen to reveal themselves to mortals seeking battle? Unless they favor us with more of their secrets, it would seem this monument holds the key to solving the mystery. Indeed, much and more lies yet lies beyond our understanding, but we'll keep chasing the truth together. As I'm sure you'll agree, though, this is tiring work, both mentally and physically. We need to pace ourselves. To which end, might I suggest, we return to Revenant's Toll and have a rest before we embark on the next stage of our in investigation? So each of those symbols is a heaven. Or hell. Huh! More food! I feel like there's a lot of food cutscenes in Endwalker. They just keep adding more. Oh, is that a lot? That's a lot of sugar. Who's... Who, whose is that? So rarely do I get to simply chat with colleagues. I'd fairly forgotten what it felt like. Indeed, it is quite fitting that we should be doing it. Doing so here at the seventh heaven. Fitting? That's an understatement, if I ever ha if I ever heard one. The seventh and highest of heavens, which rules over the remaining six, was right here in Mordona all this time. This isn't fitting, my friends. This it's destiny! She's great. I like her. You are ob obviously well versed in the myths surrounding the heavens and hells. If you don't mind, I would like to hear your thoughts on them. Invested as they are in their research, it doesn't take much to stoke their passions. My apologies if it makes you uncomfortable. Having always traveled alone, I, uh, I'm admit admittedly not too familiar with such lively atmosphere. But I do not mislike it. I wonder who he actually is. By the way, the two of you arrived at the sunken temple rather quickly. Did something happen? Well, as pleasant as, it, as this has been, it's past time we return to the Annex. The paperwork for this commission isn't going to complete itself, alas. Then I shall take myself to the to the Omphalos. There's so much there that I'd like to see. And I... I believe I will go for a walk nearby. It's getting a little warm in here. All right, do take care now. Oh, Zordia, it's pleasant, isn't it? The smells and sounds of a tavern. It makes one feel alive. And afterwards, stepping outside alone and breathing the cool air, I like that just as much. 
While we await developments, I shall remain here in Revenant's Toll. If there are any tidings, we're assured I will share them with you. Thank you for your help thus far. Thus far. Thank you for your help thus far. I doubt so much could have been accomplished without you. I'm in. I joined a fate. La 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 la. 